Hello friends, in this video, I will provide you the solution of NPTEL course Problem Solving Through Programming in C by Professor Anupam Basu, IIT Khadakpur. Uh, in this, the week 4 contents is available here and uh, the week 4 quiz is already I uploaded on my YouTube channel. The programming assignments of week 4 is also available here. So in this video, I will provide you the solution of uh, the programming assignments of week 4. Here, are 4 assignments are given here, 4 programming assignments are given here. So the first programming assignment is, uh, the we have to write a C program to find the smallest number among 3 numbers using nested if else statement. So the this code is already given here, the n1, n2, n3 are uh, variables are here and uh, the val values of these variables is taken from the user using scanf method, scanf function. So we have to write the nested if else statement to find out which one is smallest. So first uh, if use if, if n1 is less than n2, it means the value of n1 is less than n2, then inside this uh, body check again check uh, use if condition to check n1 is less than n3. If n1 is less than n3 and n1 is less than n3, it means smallest is n1. Otherwise, smallest is n3. This is the else part of this if statement that uh, when the control goes into this, is this else body, when the n2 is greater than n1. So then the, it means the n2 is greater than n1, so n, sorry n2 is less than n1 and n2 is less than n3, so the correct, uh, so print that n2 is smallest else n3 is smallest. So this is the solution of the program, uh, programming assignment 1 to find out the grid, uh, smallest among 3 numbers. So click on the compile and run button to check the public test cases. the public test case are passed successfully now click on the submit button to check private test cases the private test case is also passed successfully so this is the assignment one programming assignment one of week four next is programming assignment two of week four the length of the three sides are taken from the as uh, input write a C program to find whether triangle can be formed or not. If not display, this triangle is not possible. If the triangle can be formed, then check whether the triangle formed is equilateral, isocells, escalon or right angle triangle. If it is a right angle triangle, then only print right angle triangle, do not print it as a scalen triangle. So the angle, the sides of the uh, triangle is given here that a b and c and taken from the user using a scanner function we have to check uh, that uh, first it is a triangle knot so uh, this is the uh, the nested if else is used here So this is the programming assignment 4. First the a, b and c values are taken from the user. First check if a plus b is greater than c and a plus c is greater than b and b plus c is greater than a. If it is true then use this if else statement nested if else in this if body. If all the conditions are true then the uh, that forms the triangle ABC forms the triangle otherwise uh, if any one condition any one condition is false then print the triangle is not possible in else part of this if statement now if it is a triangle then check if a equal to B and B equal to C if a equal to B and B equal to C then it is a equilateral triangle 
if it is not true then check if a equal to b or b equal to c or c equal to a then it is a isosceles triangle then if any one of condition is false then come here in this if else body then check for the right angle triangle that a square equal to b square plus c square or b square equal to a square plus c square or c square equal to a square plus b square if any one of this condition is true any one of this condition is true then it is a right angle triangle otherwise it is a scalene triangle so this is the uh, solution of the programming assignment 2 of uh, week 4 check for the compile and click on the compile and run to check for the uh, public test cases the public test case is passed successfully successfully now click on the submit button yeah the private test case is also passed so the next assignment is programming assignment 4 here we have to write a program to find the factorial of given use, uh, number using while loop the number is taken from the user and effect variable declared here to store the factorial so first initialize fact equal to 1 and store create a uh, new variable m and store the n to make the copy of the, the value of n if n equal to equal to 0 then print the factorial of 0 is 1 print the factorial of 0 is 1 uh, otherwise uh, use a loop uh, till n is greater than equal to 0 multiply fact with n and decrease n by 1 so this is the factor did find out the factorial and print the factorial here so this is the solution of week 4 assignment 4 assignment 3 of uh, programming assignment 3 click on the compile and run button to check for the public test cases Public test case is passed successfully. Now click on the submit button for the private test cases. Private test case is also passed successfully. So this is the solution of week 4 programming assignment 3. Next is last is week 4 programming assignment 4. Here we have to write a program to find the sum of all even numbers from 1 to n where the value of n is taken as input. So the value of n is taken uh, from the user using a scanf and uh, sum as a variable that is used to store the sum and it is initialized to 0. Use a for loop that in the for loop the variable i start from 0, i condition is i less than equal to n and increase i by 2 and add the value of i with the sum. Finally print the value of sum. This is a very simple code. Uh, we have to only use a one single loop. So click on the compile and run button to check for the public test cases. Now the public test case is passed successfully. Now click on the submit button to check for the private test cases. The private test case is also passed successfully. So this is the assignment of uh, programming assignment of NPTEL course problem solving through programming in C. Submit it on or before 24th of August 2023. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video so that I can provide you the more solutions of the next assignment. Thank you.